Flexi Bar Abdominal Workout Number One. Okay, now this workout is assuming that you've got a little bit of Flexi Bar knowledge. You want to have a tummy workout and you don't want to play a whole DVD. Okay, so of course I'm going to be working the tummy and the lower back because we always need to work the muscles together. Okay, so they're balanced. So make sure that you've got nice something comfortable to lie on. You've got enough space around you. I want you to lie down on your back. Have your knees bent at about 45 degrees. So this is 90 and this is 180. Something in between halfway. Your flexi bar rests on your lap. Make sure you turn yourself side on so you can actually see what I'm doing so you're not peering to see over the top of your legs. Turn yourself side on. Relax your head on the floor. I've just got my head up to look at you. Okay. Now. I want you to lift your arms, your elbows are pointing out towards the bar. Imagine your arms are in the direction of a plane that is taking off. So it's this diagonal direction, parallel to your legs, relax your head and then just start swinging the flexi bar down and up. Now this is an easy, easy exercise. It's just to get you used to the movement of the flexi bar while you're lying down on your back. It's very easy. Do two more. Stop swinging the flexi bar, put it on your lap, and then take both of your arms behind you to support your neck. Now have a look up from behind. I'm making a cradle for my head to relax in, and then your head just gently relaxes like this. Now we're just gonna do four abdominal crunches really slow. So we're going up for four, and then slowly down. Now you wanna roll your head, your shoulders, and your shoulder blades off the floor. And if you can't, that's your aim. So rolling up, always your aim to get your upper body off the floor. All right, let's do one more. And I'm gonna get you to hold it up, squeeze your abdominals tight, hold it up, shoulders off the floor, take the position that you had before, and then swing the flexi bar. Now if this is a little bit too hard for you, you can take your shoulders down just a little bit further, but you wanna pull them up as high as you can and squeeze your abdominals as hard as you can. All right, keep the swinging motion going. We've got eight. So there's no movement. Just squeezing your abdominals. Continue to breathe for four. And three. Stop swinging the flexi bar. And then take it down. Take your arms behind you to support your neck. We're going to do another set. So have a little rest. Always resting in between our sets. And then here we go for four. Three. And then slowly down. That's it, and again, slowly up. So don't forget, a crunch is as only good how high you can get it. So shoulders, shoulder blades, and if you can, try and get that upper back off the floor. Do one more, lift slowly, hold it up, squeeze your tummy tight. The flexi bar goes in front of you, the same position. Imagine that plane taking off. Keep swinging. If you're not sure of your alignment, see if you can do this in front of a mirror so you can make sure that you've got that flexi bar going in that diagonal direction. It's very important. Keep going for four. And three, two. All right, stop swinging the flexi bar. You're gonna relax. Let it go above your head. Have a small stretch. Now we haven't finished there, but I'm gonna get you to roll over onto your tummy. And we're gonna do a little bit of lower back work. So, you're gonna come onto your tummy, come up onto your elbows and your knees, and then I'm gonna get you to extend your left arm and your right leg out behind you like this, and then pull it in. So have a look what it looks like. We go out for two counts, and then we come in. And again, take it out. Now, as you're doing this, you'll feel your body wobble a little bit. This is really good for the muscles deep in your abdominals and your lower back. Now, as you extend, think long and straight, not tall. Two more. One more time. I want you to hold it out there, hold on to your flexi bar, and then gently swing forward and backward. So your flexi bar's in your left hand, and if you're not left-handed, it might be a little bit hard for you. If it's too hard, just drop that foot gently on the floor to stabilize you a little bit. You've got eight more. Eight, seven. There's only four more, hang on. This is 
really good for those muscles deep in the lower back. Two more. Stop swinging the flexi bar and then we're going to change sides. So just get your alignment first. Right arm is out, left leg is extended, bring yourself in. And then when you're ready, we're going out for two counts and in. Here we go, lift. Now again, it's a good idea if you can see yourself in the mirror, just to make sure that your body's in a line, it's not doing this. As you extend, it goes straight out and then straight in. Push. All right, let's do another four. Now I'm looking at you, but once you're comfortable, I want you to have your eyes down. They're looking forward like this. So your head's nice and controlled and relaxed. This is your last one. Hold it out, grab your flexi bar, and then push forward and back. Now this is a wonderful exercise for the muscles that are very, very low and deep in your lower back. Keeps them working the way that they should. Don't forget your modification. If it's too hard for you, drop your foot down. And again, my head's coming back. Let's do four more. One, and two, and three. Stop swinging the flexi bar. Take it down. Now let's go back to our abs. So roll yourself over. Now this time, the flexi bar is in the same position that you had it before. I want you to start swinging, and as you're swinging, go slowly up for four counts, and then slowly down. Now, this is a little bit hard for you. Take one arm gently behind you to support your neck, and swing the flexi bar with one hand, and then change sides, but you should be okay. Slowly down. Now, if you can't get up, you can only get your upper back off the floor like this, that's fine. Just remember, move through the whole motion. You're going through four counts, slowly up, and then you're going four counts, slowly down. And again, you can hear that jerking in my voice from the flexi bar, slowly down. Can you do two more? This is the hardest thing you can do, is moving and shaking with the flexi bar. You'll be okay. One more, slowly up and then gently down. Fantastic, well done. Relax, have a small stretch. Now we're gonna finish off our abdominal workout by working on our obliques. So to do this, I want you to bring your knees together this time and I'm gonna get you to roll them over to the front side of the TV or the computer. So roll them towards me, lift your shoulders off the floor, Flexi bar is the same position in that takeoff position and push. We're just going to hold this for 30 seconds. And you can feel this immediately squeezing through those muscles in the side of your waist. They will create your hourglass figure. Keep holding. Four more. One. I will give you a rest, so hang on. Slowly relax. Relax your head. Bring your legs to the center and then change sides. So all you do is you tip your knees away from the television or away from the computer. When you're comfortable and your neck's okay, lift your shoulders off the floor, extend your arms and shake. Only 30 seconds. Now you should be able to feel this in your abdominals, particularly on the side. And again, if you're a little bit tired and your head can't stay up, just take one hand behind to support it. Only 30 seconds, hang on. Eight. You're doing a great job. It's a very hard workout if you're just concentrating on the abdominals. Four, and three, and two, and stop shaking and relax. Well done. Pop the flexi bar down. Have a really big stretch. And then release. That's your abdominal workout number one. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to stretch.